Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to explain a 1993 drama and romance movie named, Scorned. Warning, spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In the beginning of the movie, we see a couple, whose names are Truman and Patricia. Patricia wakes Truman to tell that a thief has entered the house. As soon as Truman goes to see, he finds a sleeping girl there. Truman recognizes the girl after seeing her. In fact, the girl had stayed at his house at last night's party without informing him. Actually, Truman is a businessman. He keeps giving parties to his clients at his house. Actually, Truman had a party in his house last night and this girl had come to the same party. But all this bothers Patricia. Truman then tells Patricia that I'm going to bring a very big client to our house tonight. If I get this deal, I will get promoted in my company and we will be very rich too. Truman also buys an expensive sports car in order to impress that client. This makes Patricia very upset, because Truman had taken a huge loan from the bank to buy the car. Patricia felt that she should have a job somewhere so that she could help Truman with money, but Truman doesn't want to let him do the job, he says he will handle everything. Truman tells Patricia that when we become rich after this deal, I will pay back all the bank loans. In the next scene, we meet some new characters, this is Alex Weston's family. In Alex's family, his wife, their son Robbie and their house worker Bell also live with him, Alex and Marina are so busy with their work that they forget that it's their son's birthday, Alex and Marina hurriedly go to work, on the way they ask Bell to celebrate his birthday with Robbie. Bell then brings a cake for Robbie, but Robbie is still sad, because his mom dad went to work without meeting him. After this, Robbie goes to his school, in school Robbie tells his crush Cheryl that today is my birthday, will you celebrate my birthday with me, but she refuses, and then Robbie runs away from school in anger. As soon as Robbie's father Alex comes to know about this, he is very angry with Robbie, Alex tells Robbie that I want to get your admission in a good university, for which you have to get good marks in the exam. Saying this, Alex snatches the car keys from Robbie. On the other hand, Truman takes his client Mason to his house, where Patricia is waiting for him. Mason is quite attracted to see Patricia. Those people were drinking alcohol, that's when Mason tries to touch Patricia. Patricia tells this to Truman but Truman then tells Patricia that this deal is very important to us, and he will do whatever it takes to get the deal done. We then see that Mason is getting intimate with Patricia in the kitchen. Patricia couldn't stop her even if she didn't want to, because Patricia was doing all this just to promote Truman. Truman gets very sad seeing all this. The next morning, as Truman leaves for office, he learns that his boss has given the deal to Alex, because Alex brought in bigger clients than Truman, then Truman returns home in despair. The next morning Truman tells Patricia that the boss has given my deal to someone else, now I'm going to the office, but Patricia says that today is Sunday, Truman says that I have important work in the office today, and I have to go to the office. Truman commits suicide in the office due to depression. A few days later, Patricia moves to Truman's office, where he meets with Truman's boss Mike, Mike tries to comfort Patricia. Patricia asks Mike about the insurance of the company, so Mike says we can't because Truman has committed suicide, after which Patricia goes to Truman's cabin to get Truman's belongings, that cabin now belongs to Alex, Patricia steals personal information from Alex's computer to take revenge on Alex, Patricia has also received information about Alex's son Robbie, then Patricia goes to Mason's house and shoots him with a gun, and after that she extracts the information of Alex's family. Patricia had learned about Robbie that he does not come to school every day, at the same time, Robbie is very poor in studies. After that, she goes to Robbie's school to take advantage of this. Patricia steals a letter pad from the school, she types on the letter pad that Robbie doesn't study at all, her grades are too low, and suggests her name as a private teacher on behalf of the school. As soon as Alex receives this letter, he talks to Marina about it, then Marina calls Patricia and invites her home. The next day, Patricia disguises herself to Alex and Marina's house, she reveals her name to all of them as Amanda. She tells Marina and Alex that I can't teach Robbie right now because her house is under renovation. Alex tells Amanda that you can stay at our guest house. Amanda is very happy to hear this, in fact Amanda wanted this. The next day, Amanda starts teaching Robbie, he had become very attracted towards Amanda. Marina had also become Amanda's good friend, and slowly, when Amanda and Marina start becoming good friends, Amanda starts peeping into Marina's room, she sees that Marina is taking medicines for anxiety. Taking advantage of this, Amanda starts mixing drug pills in her coffee and her vitamins to make Marina's condition worse. At night, Alex and Marina go to a party, Amanda is changing her clothes at the guest house, while Robbie is hiding watching her from the window, Amanda sees him but makes a show that she has not seen Robbie. She starts masturbating to attract Robbie, but then Belle comes there and drives Robbie away. After this Amanda goes to Robbie's room and says to him, I know you were watching me from the window, you do not need to do this, you can come straight to my room, she kisses Robbie, and after that both of them get intimate. The next day, Amanda tries to strike up a friendship with Alex, 
Amanda cleverly kills Bell after Marina and Alex leave for work, she makes Bell fall by hanging a wire in the stairs, due to which everyone thinks that Bell died by falling from the stairs on his own. Since Bell was keeping an eye on Amanda, she could not even go to the kitchen without her. Bell's corpse was lying in the storeroom when Robbie comes back home and he shows Amanda his grades, which were quite good. Both of them are very happy and go into room and get intimate with each other. On the other hand Marina also comes back home and looking for Bell. She goes straight to the storeroom where she finds Bell's body and she starts crying very loudly. Only then Alex also comes from the office and he tries to comfort Marina. At night when Alex is upset, Amanda goes there and she tries to seduce Alex, after which Alex and Amanda become intimate with each other. Robbie, on the other hand, keeps watching all this through the window. Seeing this, Robbie gets angry with Amanda, after which Robbie goes to his dad and takes his car keys from him. When Alex stops, Robbie says that if you force me, I will tell the truth about you and Amanda to mom. The next morning, Amanda again mixes a drug pill in Marina's coffee and then walks into Robbie's room. She tells Robbie that I know you were angry with me, but it was not my fault, your dad forced me to do so. Hearing this, Robbie gets even more angry with his dad, on the other hand, Marina's condition was deteriorating due to intoxicant pills, just then Amanda goes to Marina with coffee, but this time Marina sees that Amanda has mixed something in the coffee. At night, Robbie goes to Amanda's room to say goodbye to her one last time, because now Robbie was going to his new university, where he would stay in the hostel, they both get intimate with each other for the last time. The next morning, Robbie leaves for the airport with his friend, after which Amanda also leaves. Now Marina was all alone at home at night, she turns off the lights of the house, when Alex comes there, Marina accidentally stabs on Alex's hand, she tells Alex that someone wants to kill me and it is none other than Amanda. But Alex doesn't believe her words, because she is already in a state of intoxication, he thinks that maybe his wife has got some confusion. The next day Amanda arrives at Marina's house to kill her, Amanda enters the house and goes to Marina's room, she ties Marina to her bed, Amanda wants to kill Marina in such a way that Alex thinks Marina has committed suicide. On the other hand, Alex finds a picture of Truman and Amanda in the office. His boss tells him that it is Patricia, Truman's wife, which frightens Alex and he goes back home to save his wife, where Amanda just about to kill Marina, Alex pushes Amanda and throws her out the window. Then police comes there, but by the time Amanda has run away, Marina calls her son Robbie at night, but she does not tell Amanda's truth, because she did not want to disturb her son. After which we see that Amanda was already in his hostel room with Robbie. Here that we learn that Amanda is about to make Robbie her pawn for revenge, and here, with a suspense, movie ends. I hope that you enjoy this video, if you want to make sure you never miss a new upload, be sure to subscribe to the channel Mr. Explainer, turn on notifications and click the bell icon, you'll get a notification, whenever I upload a new video like this.